members will rise and the representative elect will please approach and raise his right hand. Do you solemnly swear that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which you are about to enter, so help you God. I do. Congratulations. You are now a member of the 114th Congress. Without objection, the gentlewoman from Ohio, Ms. Kapsch, is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker and members, it's my privilege to welcome uh, Congressman Warren Davidson, his wife, Lisa, and their two beautiful children, Rachel and Zach, to Washington, D.C. To the Davidsons, their extended family, and their friends who are here to support them, we all wish you hearty congratulations. To Congressman Davidson, on behalf of a grateful nation, I want to extend our gratitude for your many years of service in the United States Army. Thank you for your dedication to duty, honor, and country. Though I am Dean of Ohio's delegation, it seems just like yesterday when I was in your shoes. This moment you will never forget. You've worked hard to put together a winning coalition to win a hard-fought campaign, and that takes a dedicated person and a very giving family to make the necessary sacrifices. To accomplish worthy objectives during your time in Congress, you'll want to find issues that you can build coalitions around and then enlist others on both sides of the center aisle in that cause. Perhaps the best advice I can give you is to stay close to the people where you came from. In Troy, Ohio, and Clark, Miami, Dark, Preble, and Butler counties, and as Daniel Webster's words inspire us through the ages, dedicate our efforts to a higher cause, developing the resources of our land, calling forth its powers, building up its institutions, promoting all its great interests, and seeing whether we also, in our day and generation, may not perform something worthy to be remembered. Welcome to the United States House of Representatives and to Warren uh, and Lisa and your family, and I would like to yield a minute or more to my dear colleague, uh, the uh, Dean, longest serving member on the Republican side, Steve Shabbat from Cincinnati. The gentleman for send for a moment. Members, staff, please take the conversations off the floor. Order. The gentleman's recognized. Thank you. I thank the gentlelady for yielding time, and I want to thank her for her uh, kind words to our uh, now colleague, uh, Warren Davidson. As the two longest serving uh, members from Ohio, uh, she and I have worked together for many years, and uh, particularly on matters important to our great state, Ohio, and I look forward to continuing uh, to work with her uh, in the future. Mr. Speaker, Warren Davidson is an American success story. Born and raised in the great state of Ohio, Warren enlisted in the Army right after high school, and while serving in Germany, he witnessed the fall of the Berlin Wall. He impressed his superior officers with his dedication and leadership qualities and thus earned an appointment to West Point, where he continued to excel, in fact, finishing in the top 10 percent of his class there. Upon his return to active duty, Warren's reputation as an outstanding officer earned him positions in some of the Army's most distinguished units, the Old Guard, the 75th uh, Ranger Regiment, uh, the 100, 101st Airborne Division. For many people, that would be a successful career, but Warren had more to accomplish. In 2000, he returned to Ohio to help out with the family manufacturing business. To prepare himself to run the business, he earned an MBA from the University of Notre Dame, where, not surprisingly, he graduated with honors there, too. Warren brought the same work ethic and leadership abilities that he employed as an Army officer to grow and expand the family business. Since taking over the business, he has transformed it from a small shop of 20 employees to an enterprise now employing more than 200 people. 
And now Warren brings the lessons that he learned and the wisdom that he gained both in the military and as a small business owner to the People's House, to Congress. Personally, I think that the House will benefit tremendously from his experiences, and I look forward, and I know you also will look forward to working uh, with him. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to welcome Warren Davidson, his lovely wife Lisa, and their children, Zach and Rachel, to the United States House of Representatives. Warren Davidson. Gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Uh, Mr. Speaker, distinguished colleagues, honored guests, it's a pretty good welcome. Thank you all. <laughs> um, well, my new colleagues, surely you know how surreal this moment is. Not all of you had the same side of the special election. It's a little different, uh, but you've all been here and uh, been given the trust of your districts to come represent them and serve here. So I'm sure you understand how surreal it is having already been here. Um, I'm really honored today to have a, a lot of folks with me. We all know that politics is a team sport and I have no greater teammate than my wife, Lisa, up there. <clears throat> Uh, our family was able to join us. Um, daughter Rachel, son Zach has be, been able to come on the floor, so he took a, a fast route to the floor here. Um, my sister Robin, her husband Larry, and uh, close to a hundred uh, other friends and family that were able to come here. So. Having run campaigns, you all know that it takes, a, you know, maybe a battalion size element to, to put a whole campaign together. So in some way, they're representative of all the hard work that goes on uh, to win a campaign. I could not have been here without them, so thank you all. Um, to uh, really have come from the background, just enlisting in the Army, uh, going to West Point, serving in some great units. Um, growing small manufacturing companies, doing all these things that we heard about is pretty, pretty nice. And uh, been focused on raising a family, growing kids. Frankly, in October, I was not planning to run for Congress. And uh, to come from filing 10 minutes before the deadline, jumping into a very competitive race, I understand that, that uh, not a ton of you guys wanted the speaker's job and you got drafted. <laughs> but. Uh, but about 15 other Republicans wanted the, uh, the district rep job, so it was very competitive. <laughs> and uh, so we're really thankful to have won the race and been able to come here, and it's really an honor to be able to stand here and talk with you guys, my new colleagues. I look forward to getting to know every one of you guys on both sides of the aisle. Uh, I hope you'll take the chance to get to know me. Uh, you can probably appreciate drinking from a fire hose. I think I had about 10 about two or three hours now, maybe four hours from my first meetings, whereas I think you guys had, a lot of you guys had a couple months uh, from November to January. So uh, really hope to get to know you all. The founders intended us to have a strong Congress, and especially with the presidential race the way it is, Congress truly has an opportunity to show real leadership and uh, to be able to have the chance to be here and do the work, uh, incredibly consequential, face the challenge, perhaps be part of solving some great things is an incredible honor. So let's get around to it, and I yield back the balance of my time. Hey, hey.